Looking back to my days of playing football, my teammates and I won a championship in high school, college, and the pros. In order to do that, you must have exceptional talent, but you must also have great coaching. Throughout my entire football career, I was truly blessed with that. My high school head coach was Jerry Myers. I went up to ask Coach Myers if I could wear the number double zero. He said, Jack, that's a very special number. If you want double zero, you have to be a very special player. And then he asked me if I had what it took. And I couldn't answer that question then, but I think I've answered it today. Thank you, Coach Myers. My head coach in college was Don James, the only Kent State coach to ever win a Mid-American Conference Championship. And his record and the success that he is still enjoying today out in Washington speaks for itself. Thank you, Coach James. And of course, Chuck Knoll. Who will one day be standing on these very same steps to join Coach Landry and so many other great coaches before him. And with all these fine head coaches, there was always one very special assistant coach that for one reason or another took me under his wing and always, always spent the extra time with me that was needed. In high school, it was Dean Aishida. Dean's here today. Thank you for coming, Dean. In college, it was Dennis Fitzgerald. And in the pros, it was Bob Widenhofer, who's now with the Detroit Lions. I could have chosen any one of these men to be my presenter today because they were all so instrumental in my success. But I chose Coach Fitzgerald because I thought he, more than anyone else, taught me the techniques and the fundamentals that I used throughout college and professional football. But maybe more importantly, he took a raw talent and a raw toughness in me and he refined it into a mental discipline, a discipline that is necessary to excel. Thank you, Coach Fitzgerald. I would also like to thank the National Football League, an organization that enabled me to realize a boyhood dream, an organization that afforded me the opportunity to travel to Europe and Southeast Asia on USO tours with my good friend Billy Granholm, and an organization that has given me so many cherished memories and friendships. On the day I retired from Pro Bowl, I made this statement. There is not an owner or a team or a coaching staff or a people in a city that I would rather have played for in the entire world. The kindness that Arthur J. Rooney and his family have shown me and the kindness that the people in the city of Pittsburgh have shown me over the years are kindnesses that I can never repay. Five years later, five years later, I appreciate and stand by those words even more. How fortunate I was to have played for Art Rooney and his family. How fortunate, how fortunate to be associated with the entire organization. The front office people, the coaching staff, the medical staff, Dr. Best, Dr. Huber, Dr. Steele, the trainers, headed by Ralph Berlin and Bob Miley, who did their best to stitch me up and piece me together for 11 years, and the most important people in the organization, the locker room and equipment men, Jackie Hart, Tony Parisi, Rogers Freivogel, Frankie and Mike. I was so fortunate to have played on some of the greatest teams of all time. And arguably, and arguably the greatest defense ever assembled. And finally, how fortunate I was to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers fans. a proud and hard-working people that love their football and their players. 
If I could start my life all over again, I would be a professional football player, and you damn well better believe I'd be a Pittsburgh Steeler. To my family, to my friends, to all my teammates from Crestwood and Kent State, to all of you fans out there who will never be in any Hall of Fame, at the risk of sounding a bit pretentious, I give this day to you. This, this is your day, and this is your Hall of Fame. I would like my wife, Lisa, and my daughters, Lauren and Elizabeth, to stand. There, ladies and gentlemen, is my Hall of Fame. Thank you. God bless.